Now, the more that you play with Cricut Design Space, the more you try to think outside the box in order to complete your objective. And I wanted to approach this with taking this Broncos logo here and converting it into a layered piecing. Now, what makes this really easy, one is it's not that many colors, and two, you can almost look at this as almost a coloring book type of image, you know. So that's what we're looking at right now. And what, when we're talking about a layered piecing, I'm looking at this right here. So as you can see, uh, I'm just clicking on do just so you can see the completed image. So imagine this, maybe you're trying to cut this out of vinyl and you're trying to layer some vinyl. And you can do all of this. Uh, just by simply uploading one image and grabbing or extracting the colors out of it. So let me show you how I did it. And I'm going to start fresh here. And I'm going to go ahead and scoot this one over here. And I'm going to go ahead and upload image. And I chose uh, the image that I got from the internet. And I'm just going to go ahead and browse and go to it. So with that selected, I'm going to go ahead and click Open. And for this, because it is just uh, a couple colors here, I'm going to choose simple image. And I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Now when, when I went through this, you have to go through it with uh, the magic wand, of course. And you want to select not only the white space, but you want to select the color ones as well. And you can see by the end of this, it really looks just like a coloring book image, or it just has the outlines. And I'm going to show you some examples of uh, what I am talking about after we finish coloring this in. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And because this image is for a cut image, I'm going to select this one right here and I'm going to hit save. So once this is added to my library, I'm going to go ahead and click on it and I'm going to click insert image. Now I'm going to size everything the way I want. And I am going to create the, so basically right now I'm going to create the blackout image. So I'm going to create this blue part right here. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click contour. And I'm basically clicking all the inside pieces here. So I'm clicking here, I'm clicking here, here, here. Um, all these, all these inside pieces. And you can always check to see whether or not you got it correct or not by moving your mouse off. And let me go ahead and select this and one more. And I think I got it. So now we have a nice black image. And this was the blue. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color here to maybe the, the Bronco blue. All right. So that looks good. Now let's get the hair. So in order to do that, I'm just going to select this and I'm going to go ahead and click the duplicate button. So now I need to go and recontour this. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and recontour. And I just want the hair. I don't want the background. All right. And now I can change the color of the hair to orange and I can put it in its place. I'm going to select that background again and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate again and I'm going to go back into contour. Now I need to select the main horse and along with his eyes and ears. And then we'll see what that looks like. Alright, now we just need to color that white. You can see that I'm missing an eye, but that's not a big issue because I can always go back into contour and select the eye. And there you have it. That's how I did this. Now I'm going to show you some other images uh, on this video here of what I did. Uh, so take a look at this one. This one is just a normal coloring book image that I did a search for in Google for Dino the Dinosaur. And you can see how he is colored and how he is now layered. So hopefully you enjoyed this video tutorial. Uh, if you learned something great, feel free to subscribe to our channel. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.